Hey guys, it's Hayes with ChiChiPros.com. Today is June 2nd. I'm enjoying my week of PTO, getting a lot of stuff done around the house, painted my garage a sweet two-tone color. But more importantly, I have some time to put up some content, so we're going to do some fun things today. We're going to look at some baseball stacks. And one of the ones that I typically fade, I really like tonight, is eating the chalk. So over here on our stacker tab that you can see on the cheat sheet, over here, this is sorted by your Vegas projected runs per game. Typically, I always say, hey, let's look kind of in this range and let's avoid the chalk up top. However, we can see Atlanta is chalky, but I like Atlanta as a primary stack tonight, especially for cash games. I don't mind it for GPPs. Tonight, I'm probably going to attack more cash, do some bankroll building. So let me show you why I like this. So over here, the last two weeks when we're looking at their stats, they're batting 273 as a team. They have a WRC plus of 120, and they rank sixth on our power ranking. So Atlanta's been doing pretty good. Price-wise, to be in cores doing that well, typically you see 5,000 to 53, 5,400 average per hitter cost. So when you can get this to 46 to 4,800, that's kind of key. And based on even 6.2 projected runs and their price point, that's 111% value. And you can see that is the highest one on the slate. So best value on a price per hitter. They are going up against Austin Gomber, who's been kind of mediocre at best. And then they've got a horrible bullpen. And you can see over here, this ranks as a mini diamond stack for us. So tonight, cash games, eat the chalk, get at least four hitters from Atlanta is going to be my suggestion. So we're going to come over here. And this is my favorite tab. It's the Daily Stacks tab. I've got the game pulled up. You can kind of see over here what jumps out at me. Atlanta struggles a little bit on the road. However, in cores, it's completely different. Ton of runs scored over there. Um, I love seeing... Whoops, I just deleted that. I love seeing 25 runs scored last night when Miami was in cores. So this should be a prime spot for Atlanta, and they are priced right. You can get this down to about 46.80 per hitter. Now, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the lineups. So first off, BVP. We don't really have any BVP to look at, so that's fine. Let me go ahead and blow this up so you can see it. Uh, let's see. We're going to zoom. Now, let's see what 100 looks like. Woo, there we go. Hopefully, you can see that. All right, so now we're looking at the projected lineup. Now, someone did point out that my lineup button was not flipping over to yes when it was updating, so I did fix that. That should be working correctly today. So the GPP that I won last year, I know I mentioned this in the last video, it was only a dollar entry, but first it was like a thousand bucks, so it was a pretty good hit. It was a stack in Colorado, and a lot of people do one to five stacks, or they do two to six stacks, and when we got down to the top ten, nine of those other teams either had one to five or two to six. My stack was like one, three, four, five, six, or three, four, five, seven, I can't remember, but I skipped one of these middle hitters who struck out, and then my guy ended up hitting a grand slam, and it pull, uh, catapulted me up to the top. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the grades of the hitters. So we have one, four, and seven. So what jumps out at me, four and seven are almost must-owns. Uh, Wilson or William Contreras, you can look at him. He's having a phenomenal year. He's batting 302, has a lower strikeout rate. And then versus left-handed pitching, he's got a 516 Woba, which you can see is the highest on the team, and a 474 ISO, which is also the highest on the team. And it, with him projected to hit in the seven hole, he should be a lot less owned, and you'll get ahead of those guys that are just doing one to five or two to six. Pop down, put Contreras in there, and get ahead of those. So if this stack does blow up, you can get ahead of them. These bottom two guys, I would go ahead and fade. You can see they've got a Last two weeks ceiling of five and nine points. They're blue, they're cold. So don't play the eight, nine hitters. Just go ahead and fade those. But we definitely want the number seven hitter, Contreras, as long as he is in the lineup tonight. The other must own is Austin Riley. I love him. He's priced sub 5K. We can get him for 4,700. Batting 259 on the year. He does have a high strikeout rate, but he's got the second highest Woba and ISO on the team at 321. So Four and seven is a good place to start if you're doing this stack. He's got the highest fantasy points per game over the last week. And over the last two weeks, he's averaging 9.5, so that's really good. So typically what I'm looking at in this lineup is anything with four and seven. 
So just glancing at this, I'm probably gonna get some exposure to a one, two, three, and six, and just kind of mix and match, but four and seven, Riley and Contreras, I want in all my lineups that I'm going to do. Uh, the other thing I'm looking at is Austin Gomber. We're gonna look at his stats. So his stats for the season here, 47 innings pitched, 5.51 ERA, 3.99 XFIP, 137 whip and 277 average but he throws for Colorado so his home road splits are significant what I do like to see is he's got 24 and then 23.1 innings home road so he's almost 50 50 so we can take a look at it now his ERA has actually been worse on the road xFIP about the same so I'm not worried about that but the batting average 256 allowed on the road but he's allowing a 299 batting average at home in cores and they have the dead last ranked bullpen behind him. So I definitely like an Atlanta stack tonight. Um, looking at his stats last year, um, he actually did really good at home. So last year he had a 209 ERA, allowed a 187 average, but it's not happening this year. So go ahead and take advantage of that and put them in the lineups. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some hot hitters that you can kind of fill in your lineups there. Let me get back to this. 80. I think 80 is the number that I go on. So we're going to do two other things in this video. I'm going to show you how I come up with the hot hitters using the cheat sheet, and then we are going to upload some custom projections to Fantasy Cruncher and spit out some lineups and kind of see what we have. So we're going to get a little bit of lineup play as well. So I like to go over here to the hitters. Now I'm going to go ahead and weed out all the afternoon hitters so you have time to watch this video. So 6.05 and later we should have these teams. Typically, what I like to look at is I want to go against a pitcher with an ERA, let's say greater than or equal to 3.50, so get rid of some of the elite pitchers. And then over the last two weeks, let's say we want greater than or equal to nine average DK points per game. This is going to give us the hot hitters for the day. Now we're going to go ahead and sort these. Let's just sort them by grade to make it easier. So this is how I come up with the hot hitters that I'm going to fill in with. Now you'll get some of these guys down here who aren't real well or they're going up against Manaya, which we know is a tough matchup or whoever this guy is. You can see he's been struggling over the last week. You can throw those guys out, but this just gives you a list of people to go ahead and throw in. Now you can see Contreras is here. Oh, Wilson, Wilson, <laughs> William and Wilson Contreras are both on there. That kind of threw me off for a brain loop. So you can see Contreras is in there for Atlanta. He's in the hot hitter. Austin Riley's in the hot hitter. Acuna's in there. So heck, this might just be our, look at that, we got five hot hitters. So this could be one of your stacks. You could do Contreras, Riley, Acuna. I don't know if he's injured or gonna play or whatnot. Ozuna, he's gonna be in the lineup. You could put him in there. Um, so this could be your five-man stack here. We got five guys that are doing really well. They're priced really well. You can put those together in a stack. And it looks like the other one is going to be the Cubs. Um, so we got Wisdom, Horner, a uh, few other guys here that have been doing really well. And we got some cheap guys, 23, 32, 28. So if they're in the lineup, you might be able to do an Atlanta Cubs stack to fill it in. And then we got three guys going for Seattle who actually make the cut as well. Kyle Lewis, Ty France, and Julio Rodriguez. And they've actually been on fire and they're priced for, actually pretty decent, 3,300 for Kyle Lewis. So this is typically one of the things I do to come up with hot hitters that I'm going to fill in. Now, let me go ahead and X out of all of these filters that I put in. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and keep this for the main slate. So I'm gonna go ahead here, I'm gonna upload some custom projections. So I hate using the default projections when you go to an optimizer, because it's gonna give you some crappy lineup that a million other people have. So we are going to do our own. So I'm just gonna open up Excel, get a couple of columns here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna paste these. So these are all of our names for our players and they are in order for the main slate. Did I just delete a guy? I did. All right, now I'm gonna go over here to the DraftKings projection because that's what we're gonna use. So you can see some of those guys have a projection of zero. They are typically kicked out, but I'm just gonna paste this in order so it all stays together and we can filter those guys out. So over here, so this is just gonna be our player name. And then this is gonna be our DK projection. 
And then what I like to do is like, I like recent form. I love seeing the last 14, last seven. So let's take the last 14 number and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this column in here. So you're gonna get a small Excel tutorial as well. So we're gonna put that in there. And so this is, let's say last 14. Now I'm gonna add a column here so I can just upload these two. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take two of the projection number and one of the last 14 number, and then I'm gonna divide it by four. I'm gonna see kind of where that gets us. So let's go ahead and take, uh, so this is gonna be C2, so that tells us, now let me do a parenthesis. So we're gonna do C2 times two plus, and then we're just gonna do D2. So that's gonna give us a number of 19.36, and actually divided by four might be a little aggressive. I think I was gonna do divided by four if we did last seven, but since we're doing last 14, I'm just gonna do, let's do divide by three. That'll give us a good number. So that's gonna give us 6.433. Let me blow these numbers up so you can hopefully see them. All right, hopefully that's a little better. Um, let me go ahead and change this column. I wanna make sure it's a number. And let's go ahead and just center it so we can kind of see. So this is our custom projection, custom proj. All right. So what we're doing is we're taking our DK projection, we're doubling it, and then we're taking the last 14, adding it in there, and then we're dividing it by three to kind of give us an average that's weighted on the projection, but the people who've been doing really good, it's gonna bump them up, and then lower down the ones who just have a high projection who have not been doing well. Now, when you see this, column C2 and then D2 are the ones we wanna use, so we got C2 times two, we put that in parentheses, so it does that first, plus I just put D2 in parentheses to make it easier, and then I parenthesize all of that and divide by three to come up with my number. Now once you have this number for the first one and you highlight, you see right here in the bottom right hand corner there's a box, and when I hover over it, you see how it turns to a plus sign. So click and hold down and just drag this baby down to the bottom. Doo -doo -doo. And then that's gonna calculate the projections for everybody. So these people down here, we're not even worried about them. They're not doing anything right now. Now we're gonna go over here to your handy dandy web optimizer and I'm gonna go to Cruncher and we're gonna say advanced options. Nope, now where's the up upload data? So upload, we just want player name and projection right now. So that's basically these two columns. So we're gonna Control C, we're gonna copy them and I'm gonna come over here, Control V. I'm gonna paste them in, I'm just gonna delete these top two. So this gives us our player name and our projections. Now we click Upload, it's gonna throw it in there and there are a whole bunch of names it couldn't find, so let me scroll down. The green, it was able to upload. Okay, so we deleted those out, so that's fine. So the green ones have been uploaded, so now we're going to kick this out and let's do, let's go to Advanced Options, uh, we're gonna do team stack. Here, let me go to um, exposure. I'm just gonna say 50%. I don't want anything over 50. Randomness, I'm just gonna put on 10% to give me a little different lineups. Then I'm gonna go over here to team stacks. And we're gonna do add team stack. Okay, so we have all the teams that we can put in there. I'm gonna leave it all in there and I'm gonna say I want, all right, we'll go ahead and refresh that. So what we're gonna do when we go to advanced options, as soon as it loads, we're gonna go team stacks. It brings up all the teams. So you can pick the guys, kick them in, kick them out, shows your projected lineups. There's a million things you can do in this, but I'm just gonna say, hey, I want five players from the same team and we'll just leave it at 100% max gap. I'm gonna say, I don't want more than two gaps or two players between any gap. So that way you don't get like a three and a nine. You know, it'll give you some, or a three and a six. It gives you something that's somewhat correlated. You could even kick out eight, nine hitters if you want just to the top, but based on our projections, let's see what this kicks out. So lineups, I'm just gonna say, give me, I give me four lineups and we are going to use my, you can use cruncher projections, ceiling average. We're gonna use my custom projections and we're gonna click crunch. All right, now this is gonna spit out some lineups here. I'm not gonna pay attention to the pitchers yet, but so right now this gives us a cub stack. Now you can see the lineup has not been confirmed, but this gives us a projected one, 
four, five, six, eight for the Cubs. It throws in Mookie Betts and Taylor Trammell. Then it gives us a Seattle stack, which is interesting. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight with Freeman, Swanson, and Judge. And then it gives us another Cub stack. And then here it gives us our beautiful Atlanta stack. And it has Darno temporarily going in tonight. And then we have Albies, Riley, Ozuna, Duvall. And it puts in Trey Turner and Mookie Betts. So that's pretty sneaky there. Um, Lyles, Keegan Thompson. So it's pretty much punting pitching. So um, let's lock in Austin Turner. And then let's go take a look at the... Let's see, advanced. Let's go find Atlanta because that's one we want to focus on. So we're going to go down here to Atlanta and we'll say, will this let me lock in players? Yeah, this is new to what I had seen. So let's do, so we know we want Riley. So Contreras probably isn't going to catch tonight since they got Darno tentatively in here. So keep an eye on that. So I'm going to see what just one four ah let's just put five of them in there all right so we are going to do oh how do we want to do this let's go atlanta akuna let's see i don't know if he's playing tonight let's see he's sitting wednesday due to minor soreness Okay, so he may or may not play, but just for the sakes of this video, let's say Riley, Acuna, Ozuna's been doing well, Ozzy Albies, and just in case Contreras is in there, let's put him in there. Let's see if we can get a lineup with these five in, potentially. Okay, so we'll kick Contreras out. Let's go with four guys. So the four guys it's going to give us, you can see it's given us a Cortez, so a good pitcher, a punt pitcher, and then kind of mixes around some of the other players. So this is one I really want to wait for the lineup because I want to see if Contreras gets the night off or if he's actually going to be in the lineup. And then it doesn't look like Acuna is going to play. So if he's out, I definitely want some Austin Riley. Now, one of the other things you can do is say, hey, we want, let's say the two guys we really like are Riley and Ozuna. We know they're both going to be in the lineup. So we can lock those two in and then keep our five-man stack and see what it gives us. So this is giving us five of Atlanta. So this is doing a lot of Cubs on there. So I don't mind doing this either, taking a five-man stack and then having our two Braves in there and then Trey Turner. So that's that's a pretty beast lineup there. I don't like uh, Lyles, but if you did Cortez, five Cubs, you get your two Braves and then Trey Turner in there, that doesn't look too bad. And then here's one with five Braves, Freddie Freeman punting a catcher, and then a couple decent pitchers. That's not a bad lineup. Let me make sure I got my slate. Yeah, I got my slate right, so that's not too bad. So I'd say our best lineup right now is probably this little guy right here. It gives us five Braves, a solid first baseman, and two good pitchers. And then my second one would be, it keeps throwing the Cubs in here, so I might take a shot at this one and see what it's going to do. But Anyways, you can upload this however you want. Um, we can even come over here and say, hey, let's see what it looks like if we just do the last 14 average points and we don't worry about pitchers and who we're facing. We just go back here to upload data, copy, paste, throw it in there. We get the same little undefined. And then we're going to go in and we are going to run it again using my projections. Let's see if it gives us anything different on there. So it throws in a couple brewers. Uh, yeah, it puts in here, uh, and still it goes back to the Cubs. So maybe the Cubs are where it's at tonight. So anyways, I'm going to cut this video down and uh, go look at some player props, but this is kind of what I do for fantasy hot hitters, you know, different stuff like that. There's a lot of things you can do, but definitely I'm stacking the Braves in cash tonight. And that's one of my go-to. So good luck guys.